Ah, the beautiful Appalachian Mountains, filled with trees and diverse wild- Are those trees dead? Killing those trees is hemlock woolly adelgid, a very tiny little bug less than a millimeter in length that has been devastating eastern hemlock and Carolina hemlock in the Appalachian Mountains. Hemlock woolly adelgid attaches to the bottom of a hemlock leaf when it is young and sucks up all the nutrients until the leaf dies. This tiny fuzzy bug is in fact not fuzzy at all. The fuzz is a wax coating for the egg sacs that hatch twice a year. They are an invasive species in the Appalachian Mountains. So when the bugs attach to the hemlock, the trees will die in three to five years. The trees landed in Richmond, Virginia in the 1950s. The bugs were brought over because some thought that the trees that were infested with hemlock woolly adelgid looked pretty. So the trees were brought over and planted on people's lawns. Hemlock woolly adelgid landed on an isolated population of hemlock. The bug stayed in Richmond until the 80s when it spread to the main population of hemlock. The bug took off and within three decades it spread to its current range. Because the bug originally came from Asia, the trees on the eastern seaboard have no resistance to it. There is also nothing that eats hemlock woolly adelgid in the Appalachian Mountains. On top of that, eastern hemlock is one of the oldest growing trees in the Appalachian Mountains, so no tree has developed resistance. Eastern hemlock often grows along rivers keeping the stream cool, which the fish need to live. So if you love fishing, hemlock should be your best friend. If hemlock dies out, not only would the fish die out, but it will get replaced by rhododendron, which again, if you fish, would suck because you would have to climb through bushes to get to the stream. Rhododendron also has much shallower roots than hemlock, so the dirt would be washed out from under the rhododendron, causing erosion until the stream caves in, which would cause catastrophic consequences downstream. Hemlock is also home to almost a hundred species of bird, and most of them travel from the tropics every spring. Without hemlock, these birds will have nowhere to stay, killing them off as well. It's really hard to kill off hemlock woolly adelgid population as a whole, because they are attached to trees instead of wandering about. So to give a tree pesticide, it needs to be given to each tree individually. And a lot of hemlock lives on the river, where pesticide cannot be given to the trees. Hemlock is also more than likely in your backyard, because many people use this tree as decoration. If you find hemlock woolly adelgid underneath the base of a hemlock leaf, you need to act as soon as you find it. If most of the tree is still alive, then you can get rid of the bugs by spraying the tree down with water. If more than a little and less than a lot of the tree is dead, you can contact your local, state, or national park. They usually have a plan in place to help you out with your trees. If most of the tree is dead, your best bet is to chop it down so that the tree does not fall on you or anything valuable. Really, the absolute most important thing you can do is teach others about hemlock woolly adelgid. The more people know about hemlock woolly adelgid, the better chance we have of saving this beautiful part of our ecosystem.